Now let's flip through the pages for RS Logic Studio 5000. There's a set of manuals, uh, programming fundamentals, and then there's examples and programming. It's split into the basics and then the actual hands-on projects. And then there's a third manual, advanced, a green and black manual that has everything that wouldn't fit in the first two some advanced stuff, some procedures, it has motion, and some other more esoteric type subjects like the languages, structure text, function block diagrams, sequential function charts, etc. Let's flip through the pages. RS Logix 5000, Studio 5000, Fundamental Programming, 224 pages, and the second volume in this set, Programming Examples. All of these uh, lab projects all blend together into one large document, but they're divided up into the basic stuff and then more or less the applications or the program and examples. This is done so the professors and instructors can use primarily fundamental programming and then use their own projects with their own lab equipment, which most schools have. Or they can use the projects and program and examples. Let's flip through the pages. Now remember, you can pause this to read these table of contents. And now we're going to look at, we're going to flip through some pages and just look at random pages. If you look at the page numbers, you can see sometimes they jump five pages, sometimes 10 and even 20 pages. So you're seeing all the basic stuff here that you would have to learn for any PLC. And now we're actually going to create a rung of logic. And this does not look a whole lot different than 500. The tags do, the tag names, the pointers, the variables. And there's a lot of other things going on which you just saw, and that is how the scan functions a little bit different in 5000 than it does in 500. So now we're going through the... Uh, the basic instructions, you know, truth on, truth off, energize output, latch, unlatch, timer data types, counter data types. These are comparisons. We do explain mask values, math instructions. There are some things in here that you might not use for programming, but you will be forced to understand if you're working on other people's programs. That's why we include a lot of the more obscure. We have a good section on Boolean algebra, including lab projects and De Morgan's theorem. This is all logical stuff. Uh, text objects, you know, rung comments, descriptions, etc. This is the second volume, programming examples, and we jump right into a conveyor application and then continue on through all the projects and you can see by the table of contents that you see the Boolean algebra, followed by explaining tag names, description, run comments, and then there is an index. Okay, the very first uh, lab project is a conveyor project. So as you've seen in our other documents, here's a lubrication system for bearings based on uh, accumulated runtime. More conveyors, more conveyors. So we have quite a, through, quite a few projects. Remember, there's a lot of text and code that goes with this. So I'm just showing general pictures throughout the manual. This is the main machine right there. And this is showing it sequencing parts through it. And then we show you how to program it with at least three different styles or ideas in programming. And we go through all the logic. We show you how to monitor the program without an HMI. RS links explaining the uh, I.O. tree. Revision levels, firmware flashing. That's always one that people have to dig around to find. Uh, now the Boolean algebra got included in both volumes because some people only buy one volume. They don't buy the complete set. If you go to our YouTube channel, and I'm assuming that's where you're at now, otherwise you wouldn't be watching this video. But if you go to playlist, you'll see one for RS Logic's 5000, Studio 5000 with 47 videos. 
these 47 videos cover the first two manuals, the two red and black manuals, fundamental programming and programming and examples. So let's flip through the list of videos for those first two manuals. Remember there's 47 of them. You recognize the titles from the manual. So that's the list of videos for the red and black manuals. There's, uh, I think, 47 of them. I don't remember the number now. This is the green and black manual that we were talking about, and this has all the advanced discussions and lab projects. Let's flip through the table of contents for this guy. You can pause it if you want to read more closely, but you'll see we cover task, periodic task, event task, week, cover function block diagrams, structure text, sequential function charts, motion, add-on instructions, and quite extensively the message instructions, SIP messaging. This is just a scattering of pages from this manual. A lot of technical information here, a lot of things that you won't learn in probably any other venue than uh, this set of manuals. This information represents quite a few years. I've been involved with, well, first with Control Logics when it came out around, I don't know, 2000, 2001. So I've been using RS Logics 5000 since version 1 or version 2, basically. And then when it hit version uh, 10, they switched over to what they called Enterprise, and that took us through version 20. Now, here are the videos that go along with the advanced, the green and black manual. And there's 31 of them. Here's the first group. Here's the second group. And you can always pause and look through these. These are all available on YouTube right now without you buying manuals. But you're going to need the manuals. There's a certain amount you can learn without the manuals, but believe me, it won't even come close to what you learn if you use the manuals and they actually do the lab projects. So good luck with your learning process.